Hey everybody, it's Bradley. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm going to show you guys um, how this outre wig that I have straightens. It's going to be the outre half wig in Hawaiian. So I'm going to flip the camera around and I'll show you guys um, what I'm using on it and how it looks when I straighten it. Okay, here is the outre wig in Hawaiian. And this is in the color 1B30. Um, and I brushed it out as you could see. And it's a really nice... Um, wave and let's see well here that's how the hair texture looks when it's brushed out so it's like a nice gives you some nice body and then this is how it looks as I'm straightening it which is really nice because I'm kind of over the curls in it so I wanted to straighten and see how it looks and then this is in its natural state it's just like a nice um, curl and what I'm using on it is this Fructis Style Sleek and Shine um, Sleek Finish 5-in-1 Serum Spray for smoothing, luminous shine, frizzy, um, tame away, uh, resist frizz, tame away flyaways, and fight humidity. And I also use some heat protectant. Um, I don't know where it is, but I just actually put it back in my mom's closet. So my mom has a closet, side so note. It has like nothing but hair products in it. She probably doesn't want me to show all this, but whatever <laughs> but I used this matrix essential sleek look it's a heat protectant spray and I sprayed that all over as well um, so that's what's gonna keep this synthetic wig um, not from you know burning up and then I'm just using a basic comb to comb through it and then I'm using the sorry I'm a little sick right now I'm using the what is this Jilbury con air professional um, this is an inch flat iron and I have it the highest setting is 30 and so far it has not um, damaged it I just turned it to 30 on this second strand right here and it doesn't look too bad this was on 20 and I just wanted a little bit straighter and it's not too bad so I will get back to you guys when the whole wig is done okay so I lied about coming back when I'm fully done because I wanted to show you guys how it straightens so far it's been really easy and it's just gliding. I mean, it's a little tangle right there. But it's like, it looks good. It's looking good so far. It's a little greasy because um, I didn't clean this flat iron before I did it. And it has like a whole bunch of product on it from someone doing flat ironing their natural hair. But this is one curl that's um, been brushed out. Oh my gosh, I'm about to fall. Sorry, I know this is not really the best. Um, position for the camera but it's kind of hard to film and flat iron at the same time because I don't have my tripod up here but um, okay I'm literally holding the phone with my neck <laughs> you see how easy it straightens and then when I get to the bottom part I just get the comb comb it out go all the way down and that's pretty much all it is I'll just really straighten that a little bit more to get that slight wave out of it but it's been really easy so I'll come back to you guys when it's halfway done and then when it's fully done all right guys don't mind me in the back but here is I'm not almost I'm almost halfway done I'm doing the back but I wanted to show you guys how it looks in the front and I think it looks really good. It, it's super long once I straightened it. I didn't, I mean, I knew it was gonna like be longer than it is here, but I didn't know it was gonna be that long. The only thing is I may have to cut some of the ends because I brushed them out when it was curly and it just seems kind of, the texture at the bottom seems kind of different. So those ends probably will be, um, <sighs> I'm so sick. Um, those ends will probably be clipped. But here is the curly side brushed out. And here is the side that has been straightened. And it's really thick for it to be not that much hair on the um on this wig. It's like the strands are very thin. My sister's in the back creeping. Stop. <laughs> and yeah, so that's it. I'll be back when it's finished. 
All right, guys, the wig is done being straightened. And just a side note, like this wig has a really great um, color job on it. Cause you know, like I said before, like some synthetic wigs, like the dye job looks so crappy, but this one, it just, it's very seamless. So that's how it looks in the back. Um, this is the side. It's like very nice. I'm gonna cut the ends cause they're dry, like I said. And this is the front. It is a half wig, but you know, you can wear it as a full one if you know how to style it on yourself. And yeah, I think it looks really good. I did have the flat iron on 30 and it was a little too hot. So I did put it on to 25 and that was perfect for me. Um, I don't know, I guess you can go by the temperature that they tell you to put, that you can put on the, um, the thing on the, when you get the wigs, but, uh, I wouldn't do that. I would maybe go like a degree down or something. So if you don't have the ones that have like, um, 25, 30, 30 by 40, I don't know. Just start with the lowest heat and then work your way up if you need to or down. Um, I'm going to put the wig on later and I'll probably post a picture on Instagram so you guys can see it. In the description box below, this is just for you guys. Um, if you do decide to flat iron this wig, um, it'll look something like this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, hit that subscribe button down and hit the notification bell so you guys can know when I post. I'm going to try to post more frequently. I'm really trying guys. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have a good day or a good night and I'll see you next video. Bye.